What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. This is Ryan Huber. I'm at the Great Pyramid of Giza right now and I wanted to talk about five things that suck about being a private jet pilot. First off, the number one thing that sucks about being a private jet pilot is the schedule is really unpredictable. With charter customers or with just uh, owner operators, a lot of times you never really know where you're going, when you're going. A lot of people operate on call, meaning they have a certain call out period like four hours or eight hours. And if they get a call up to that four hours, uh, you might have a call and it's happened to me at my previous job in the middle of the night where it's like 2 a.m. and hey, we need to get to Tucson. We've got to fly a heart down to Tucson from Phoenix. Uh, I used to do medevac stuff a couple years ago. Uh, so the schedule can be very unpredictable. You're dealing with uh, people of a certain level of wealth and the whole reason people fly private, fly private, is because it gives them access to their time much better than a commercial airliner, much better than commercial travel. So the schedule can be very unpredictable. It's not like flying for the airlines where you know your schedule ahead of time, you know which flights you're flying. Uh, so that can be difficult and might be something that turns you off to fly in private jets if you're a pilot looking to get into the industry. Uh, so it can be pretty crazy, but it's also very fun. The thing that really sucks about being a private jet pilot is, and I didn't think this would actually happen to me, but the time away from friends and family uh, can really get to you and it's gotten to me. I've gotten really lonely on the road um, Sitting in hotel rooms, you know long nights early mornings uh, It can really get to you and if you do decide you want to get into the industry and You want to be a private jet pilot or an airline pilot it's something you need to really think about and really consider just how independent you are and just kind of what lifestyle you want to live. You do spend a lot of time away from friends and family. You will miss Christmases. You will miss birthdays. You'll miss events. You can't plan a whole lot. You live half your year on the road on somebody else's schedule, whether that be the schedule of the passengers in your airline or the schedule of your boss, um, your charter clients, or whoever you may be flying for. Third thing that sucks about being a private jet pilot is it's not as stable as the airlines. And a lot of airline guys will tell you this, why I fly for the airlines versus fly private is because um, you don't have the security of a big company behind you. You don't have a Fortune 500 company, a big, uh, you know, massive airline full of thousands and thousands of employees and millions or billions of dollars in backing. If, if my owner, uh, my the company I fly for, if they go out of business, if he just feels like firing the pilots, he doesn't want his jet anymore, he can just say, yeah, I don't really want the jet anymore, see ya. And, um, you know, we're gone. So there's a lot less stability. Uh, same thing with charter. Charter companies are small companies with a few jets. They don't have the financial backing as some big, big organizations. Um, so flying for a charter operation or flying private, um, it's, it's a way less stable. It, it really is than an airline. But you know, some people, we don't want stability. We want fun. We want spontaneity. Uh, so it just depends on you and that's something to think about if you want to get into flying private jets um, versus airlines or something like that. If you're a pilot coming up, private jets, they're not very stable. They're fun though. Uh, fourth thing that sucks about being a private jet pilot or a pilot in general and any plane um, is student debt and the cost. I don't know about you guys. Uh, it, how much money you have, how much money your family has, or how you might have gotten your ratings. But for most of us, I'd say we have to take out some kind of loan or make a big financial obligation to get our pilot ratings. And it's tough. Um, you know, I've invested 60 plus thousand dollars of my own money. And now ATP, for instance, the program I went to is up to $100,000 just to get your pilot ratings. It's a big, big commitment. It's a lot of, it's a lot more than maybe college in certain uh, states or certain organizations, certain universities, um, but it also could be less uh, than some college degrees. But uh, it's a lot of money. Uh, I pay a loan payment every month to pay back my loans. And um, it's a big commitment. So before you decide to become a pilot, think about what kind of financial route or decision you may be able to make. Is it worth it? Yes, in my opinion, it's absolutely worth it. I'm hanging out at the pyramids right now and I would not be hanging out at the pyramids if I didn't make the commitment to myself and to my future to pursue flying as a job and as a career and get those ratings. So the debt is worth it, but it's a big debt obligation. Uh, it's a lot of money to become a pilot. And final thing of this video that sucks about being a private jet pilot, mainly in comparison to flying for the airlines, uh, is we have to clean the airplanes. We have a lot more tasks than just being pilots. 
So this is something that people don't really talk about, but something I just thought I'd touch on while I'm here making this video. Um, and it's something to think about. I mean, it shouldn't really sway your opinion whether you wanna fly a private jet or airline just because of this. But um, we do a lot more work. We do a lot, we do the flight planning. Um, we coordinate fuel, coordinate services, catering, cleaning. Um, we're cleaning up the jet. We're making sure everything's ready to go. So we're more of a customer service, broad person uh, than the airline guys might be, where they just show up, get their stuff, they fly, they get off, they have everybody doing stuff for them. As private jet pilots, especially if you're operating without a flight attendant or with less support, we have to do a lot more work than just fly the airplane. There's a lot of coordinating and things that go behind the scenes uh, that people may not think about. So that's something else uh, that sucks about being a private jet pilot. If you like this video, please like, comment, subscribe. I'll be posting twice a week on my channel for aviation, business, and life-related things. My name is Ryan Huber, fly private, um, hanging out at the pyramids, always sword your full potential, and I'll see you in the next video.